What's the square root of 4? It's 2. So since 4 to the 0 is 1 and 4 to the 1 half power is 2, we know that it's somewhere between these two because 1.31 is in between the two results. What you learn today is going to help you find out exactly what W is in every problem like this. <clears throat> now let us define a new function which aids us in these problems. We're going to call it the logarithm. It's usually abbreviated L-O-G or log pronounced log. Uh, for a special logarithm we'll talk about later, related to Euler's number, it will be ln, the natural log. And here it is. The definition of logarithm with base b, just like exponentials, logarithms have a base. So a logarithm with base b is defined as log base b of y is x, if and only if that base to the x power is y. So visually again, the base of the logarithm is the base of the equivalent exponent. The answer to the logarithm is the exponent on the exponential. And what you put in, or what you plug into the logarithm, y, is the answer to this exponential form question. So that definition states that those two things are equivalent, and I just want to get some vocabulary out of the way. The one on the left, log base b of y is x, is what we call logarithmic form. Since they're equivalent equations, one is the logarithmic form, and the other is the exponential form. You're familiar with exponentials, and we're just now becoming familiar with logarithms. Let's look at some examples here. Log base 2 of 4 is 2. Why? Well, because 2 squared is 4. You see the logarithmic form, the exponential form. Another one. Log base 3 of 27 is 3. Why? Because 3 cubed is 27. One more. Log base 7 of 49 is 2. Why? Because 7 squared is 49. Okay, that's how the logarithm works. You take the base of the logarithm, raise it to the power using, raise it to this power, and it should equal that. Every time. Your turn. Rewrite each of these following in exponential or logarithmic form appropriately. Log base 3 of 81 is 4. Log base 14 of 1 is 0. Log base 1 half of 32 is negative 5. They're not usually this quiet, That's just good. so you know. <laughs> Especially this half of the room. Oh, I, I, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> They're so quiet on the soccer team. Teacher needs to do one. 
Miss Griffin, what's the last one? <laughs> one half to the negative fifth is 32. Exactly. Great job, Mrs. Griffin. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? This is pretty easy, just converting between the two. Okay. This is basic logarithm skills. When you're trying to find answers for these problems, for, for problems of this form, b to the x is y, or log base b of y equals x, you should ask yourself this question. What power of b, what power of that base gives you y? If you say that in your head, it might trigger some old perfect squares, perfect cubes, perfect vertex. Uh, it might trigger some old memories of like fifth grade, sixth grade math, and you're memorizing all those along with your hundred digit, or sorry, with your three digit uh, multiplication tables. For example, in this one, log base four of 64, ask yourself the question, what power of four gives you 64? Does that trigger any memories? Three. Four cubed. What's four times four, Jason? What's 16 times four, girl number three? <laughs> Nikki. Nikki? 16 times two is 32 times two again is 64. Right? Four to the third is 64. That's the equivalent form to log base four of 64 is three. Now, I want to get into two special cases. We're going to go first with base 10. Logarithms of base 10 are shortened when they are written. Instead of constantly writing this annoying little number down here, we forego it in base 10 logarithms. This is called the common log. Okay? It's used a lot in chemistry, in physics, in biology, in a lot of different sciences. Can somebody answer why? Using your calculators, uh, the only log you can use. It, in some calculators, it is the only log. Yeah, yeah. Aside from the natural log, but why use it in science so much? Why is it so important in science? Real numbers aren't pretty. Huh? Real numbers aren't pretty. Well, I'm thinking of Planck's constant, right? We were talking about this yesterday in study hall. I mean, during PL time. <laughs> He skipped my meeting just to talk with you guys. Why do we use base 10 logarithms when we're dealing with items like this, with numbers like this? Because this is an exponential uh, part right here, and it has base 10. We use this quite often in science because we deal a lot in scientific notation, which is a base 10 system like this an exponential base 10 system. The other example is the natural log. This one gets its own special abbreviation. <coughs> log base E of x is ln x, natural log. It's every lumberjack's favorite mathematical function. As a personal note, my fourth niece's initials are E and L. Can you guess why? This is a true story. My, really, my fourth niece's initials are E and L.
uh, his, the deal he struck with his wife was, I'll choose the initials, you choose the names. She agreed. And I love Obadiah. That is such an awesome name. <clears throat> Your calculator will have buttons for these, for the most part. It'll have natural log and log buttons. If you have a calculator, take it out and find them. If you don't have a calculator. Bring your calculator, Justin. Or uh, Jason, do you bring your calculator? I looked at Justin's look name on this paper. <laughs> Where's your calculator? Anyone else? Jason, you forgot yours? All right, here's my geek tool. Take special care of this. This is my 16th Christmas gift. 16 year old Christmas. his instruction manual so he can learn all the cheats on his calculator to do stuff faster. You gotta know when your calculator is right and when the calculator is wrong. You only learn that through severe experimentation with it. Do it but once you're and once when you get up. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta take it in a plane and test it 40,000 feet.
because they have the same base, they're inverses, and we're left with just the argument. Here's another one, a little more difficult. Simplify log base 5 of 25x, or 25 is through the x, rather. Now I say the, I, the reason I say this one's a little more difficult because it requires one additional piece of knowledge. The fact that 25 is really 5 squared. Can you go from there? Okay. Boys are mumbling, whispering, 2x, 2x. Why? Okay. <laughs> Basic properties of exponents. If you have 5 squared raised to the x power, that is 5 to the 2x. You multiply the 2. And now it's written in a manner where we can simply forego the log base 5 of 5 and write the power on that 5, 2x. Find the inverse function. Now, this is another step, a, a, another type of problem that you'll have to do. Find the inverse of this function, y equals natural log of x plus 3. If you guys remember anything about finding inverse functions, you should remember this. Switch the x and y and solve for y. Okay? That should be like your daily mantra for the next maybe two days. You wake up in the morning, you go, switch the x and y and solve for y. You go to bed at night, you put a little rock on your pillow, so when you, when you hit it, you think, oh yeah, switch the X and Y, solve for Y. Okay? They did this with um, exponential functions before, so mm -hmm. they've done it in another setting. Okay, this can get ugly, especially when there is no inverse. Fortunately, that's not the case here. Switch the X and Y and solve. Now, if I, if I said, uh, uh, let's see, 4 was equal to x, would you agree that 4, uh, would you say, would you agree that e to the 4th power is the same as e to the x power? Mm -hmm. You take two numbers which are equal and use them as the powers on two exponents which have the same base. 2 is equal to 2, right? 4 squared is equal to 4 squared, right? What we can do on both sides of the equation, just like multiplying the, by the same number on both sides, dividing by the same number, adding both, uh, the same number to both sides, we can use both sides as the power to an exponential. Why am I using E here? Oh, because it cancels out. Aha. Uh -huh. Natural log has base e. So I chose e because it was the inverse to, na to the log base e. e to the natural log of an argument is simply the argument. Subtract 3, you have your answer. y is e to the x minus 3. <coughs> Any questions on that? If this was log base 2, for example, instead of using e, we would have used 2. 2 to the x is 2 to the log base 2 of y plus 3. Then the 2 and the log base 2 would have annihilated each other and left us with just the argument. I chose E because it was the natural log, which was the log base E. Okay. The rest of the time is yours to work on this homework. Yay. It looks long, but it's really just three or four questions from here and there. You did it on purpose. Yes. <laughs> you didn't put the boundaries on. You didn't? Yeah. <laughs> nope. 256, 257. Yeah. This is assignment number.
Yeah, 33 was the um, natural base one that I gave you yesterday and I emailed you the solutions to.